Hey everyone, welcome back to the Real Review Hub uh, One Funnel Away Challenge case study. This is day five. I'm back. My name's Frank. I'm with Franco. Um, Hi, everybody. <laughs> for those of you guys that watched the videos this week, I want to thank Franco for holding on the fort. I was traveling, as many of you guys know. I was away for the week in Atlanta. I uh, was supposed to record last night with Franco. Multiple delays, trying to switch a flight to get here a little bit earlier. Didn't make it. <laughs> so Franco luckily uh, got you guys some reviews, which is awesome because we really want to make sure this is something that you guys can follow along with us as we do. Um, today is day five of the One Funnel Away Challenge. We are back together. Um, today's lesson was about belief. So uh, let me uh, kick it off to Franco. We'll kind of go over kind of what Russell's uh, lesson was about, and then uh, we'll take it from there. Hey everyone! Again, I'm excited to uh, show you know show us day five. What's going on? I'm happy that Frank Bank, like I was telling you guys, totally stressed out all week long, being the newbie, trying to figure all this out myself. Um, but continuing on with Russell talked about in the last video, um, he had a quick little intro video, about two or three minutes long, where he basically continued to talk about to help increase our beliefs. Right? Basically, if you believe in the system, the system will work. And if you don't put your effort into it and you're saying it's not going to work, most likely it's not going to work, right? So you kind of have to jump in all in, both feet. Um, and then he talked about later on uh, also purchasing some other programs if you were interested. Um, during his uh, Lady Boss presentation, we'll talk about it. And uh, Frank will talk about the uh, coaching call. Yeah, so, you know, first thing, guys, I want to say is this week um, – you know, obviously they call it the pre-work, right? It's all around mindset and belief, which is really ironic because, Frank, I don't even think I told you this, but um, I was away, obviously, at a meeting, training, um, I, I did a bunch of workshops, and one of the workshops that we spent a couple, well, about four or five hours on was a mindset workshop, and it's, um, wow. and uh, so it's pretty ironic, and it really is important. And, you know, in, our, in my workshop, I talked a lot about, um, you know, if you want to change behavior, you know, you have to change um uh, it's three things that equal behavior, right? Attitude, beliefs, and um, uh, attitude, uh, beliefs, and values, right? If you want to change someone's behavior. So those are all equal to people's behaviors, which is pretty funny. And um, there's actually there's actually a little a video that I showed, you know, part of my team during the workshop, and it had to do with the Harvard um, MD. And basically what they did is these, these, these great um, – research projects on mindset to really see if, if mindset, the placebo effect was a real thing or not. And um, I'm not going to get into all the, <laughs> all their research because that'll take 20 minutes, but you know, they tested things like um, one, one of the things it did, like, which was a great example of how mindset can really change someone's, um, you know, motivations and how their body reacts even is they took 78 um, maids from seven different hotel chains and they, they, they pulled them all and said, how much exercise do you guys get? And most of them said, you know, zero to none, right? And obviously, you know, you know, housekeepers are spending a lot of all day running around doing, you know, a lot of manual labor, it burns a lot of calories. So their, their theory was, okay, if we show half of them uh, a 15 minute video that just kind of talks about, you know, how many calories you burn with a half hour of vacuuming and all this other stuff. And they took all their, a lot of vitals, their, their, a lot of blood markers, just kind of see stress levels and, and hormones and all this other stuff before. And then they came back and took both groups again at the end. And it was remarkable. Um, the different markers came back considerably lower for everything from body mass index to stress levels to, uh, you know, enjoyment of, of work for the half that had seen the, the results right? <laughs> that they were to expect just from their normal jobs, right? So it just, and there's tons of research they're doing around in this area where if you expect the results, you can, you'll literally, you know, get them. So <laughs> this was really ironic. I didn't do a great job of explaining that, but um, I would definitely check it out. It's, uh, it's a team from Harvard and Yale doing a lot of research. But anyway, not, not to digress, but it kind of, I thought it was really funny <laughs> as, as these two things were kind of going in parallel. Um, but to move on to to the coaching call by Steven, right? So so obviously this is pre-work. It's a lot of mindset stuff. Um, but he did talk about some actual, I think, tangible stuff here that's good to really remember. Um, in his coaching call, he talked around um, how important it was to have a focused messaging. And that's actually what made him money. And it wasn't the stuff that a lot of us spend 
a ton of time on, on logos and, you know, making a company motto and making everything pretty. <laughs> that when he did that, it was really a waste of time for him. And he ended up spending a lot of time on something that either he didn't launch or didn't make any money on, which I've done stuff like that. So I could totally, totally <laughs> resonate. Um, he also talked about the difference between marketing sales, you know, and closing, right? And he, he kind of defined marketing as the act of changing beliefs um, with the intent of getting a sale, whereas sales is just presenting an offer to o and overcoming objections. And then closing, he presented it as, you know, the logical reasons why you should act now, right? Um, which was a really simple way to kind of break it down. And I thought it was really helpful, you know, if you kind of think of it that way, like, what is marketing? Marketing is me building that story as to how I'm going to change beliefs so people act and that action should resonate in a sale, right? Sure, the outcome should be a sale. So um, I think that was a really good video that he put out. It was like 25 minutes long, but it was, it was probably one of the most valuable videos so far that I think I've seen. Um, and then it was cool. He kind of talked about a little bit of psychology of, of, of buying, right? And um, how there's three pretty much uh, obstacles or challenges you have to overcome you know, that people have when you're trying to sell anything. One being, you know, you have to overcome their belief in the vehicle. So the product you're selling, will it work, right? Is is that going to actually um, do what it promises? So that's the first thing you have to kind of sell people on. And then the, se the, the second challenge usually you have to come internal, right? Okay, your product might be great and I see it could work, but can I do it, right? <laughs> will, it will I get the benefit? And then the third one is external. Do I have the time, the wherewithal, the resources to actually use this vehicle and make it work for me, right? Or are there outside circumstances that will keep me from doing it? Um, much like the challenges we've had in this first week, right? Me traveling around, getting caught, you having a lot of stuff going on, but we're yeah. trying to be faithful to the process and, and make it happen, right? So I thought that was really good. Um, I'll stop there, I guess. Franco, you think I missed anything on that? If not, we'll kick it off. You can kind of go over the lady boss presentation. No, I think you hit, you hit the nail on the head, you know, going over everything. I, I thought it was really, uh, it was a great little, you know, 20, 30 minute video that Steve Larson had and uh, it was one of his better ones that I, I thought. Um, no, so absolutely. So I'll briefly talk about the Lady Boss presentation for those that don't know who she is, right? So Kaylin Poulin, basically, um, a little quick, quick little story that she shared, right? Because I, like I said, I'm the newbie, never heard of her story. And basically, um, she was trying to lose weight. And her and her husband at the time, um, they technically were married, but they didn't have a real diamond ring. Everything was cubic zirconia and fake. And they were, you know, had these jobs that were going nowhere. And she was trying to lose weight. And her husband said, you know what? Why don't we try to document uh, uh, you losing weight and let's make it into a business? Because she had lost a ton of weight and, um, people were kind of asking, hey, what did you do type of thing? And that's what she ended up doing. That's what her business became. And the key to her success was, for those that didn't know, she made multiple million dollar funnels, okay? Um, to the point now, she is uh, one of Russell's probably top earning uh, customers. And um, where she gained most of her success was basically helping women losing weight while women learned how to love themselves. And that was like a very powerful message. And she started with first this coaching, then selling some swag, um, then selling like supplements. And she just kept snowballing and snowballing and snowballing. And she said, you know what? This really came out of nowhere. She said, because we were li literally had $9 in our checking account. And she showed a, a quick picture of their checking account. And she goes, I went to buy groceries and groceries consisted of almond milk and egg whites. And she called her husband really quick. She goes, you know, I don't want to be embarrassed. Is this going to go through? And he honestly said, I'm not sure. And her mother's like, are you coming down for Christmas? What are you going to do? And they didn't know what they were going to do because they didn't have enough gas in the car to go fill up at the gas station, never mind drive to Kentucky. And they was like, you know what? She's like, we don't care. We're, we're buying this funnel. Uh, you know, and, and the husband was a little afraid. They were like, what are we going to do? They saw Russell Brunson's advertisement. They're like, let's, let's cheap out. And he bought the $99 version. And she goes, no way. She goes, we're going back in. And they bought the $2,000 version. And they said, they literally sat there for three weeks and watched the video, paused it, did what they're supposed to do, rewinded it, watched it again, did what they had to do step by step by step by step. 
And basically within a day, they made all their money to buy Christmas presents, buy gas, groceries, and go visit her mom. And she goes, they were living in a bedroom with a mattress and a hot plate. And then after that, they sold everything that they had. They were living on friends' couches. So she basically went from poverty to super rich. And she goes, and all they did was follow the steps. And kind of this is what this case study was about. What Frank and I had said from day one was about just really seeing step by step what's going to happen, right? So that's basically what the Lady Boss presentation was about. And, uh, you know, they offer some other programs. Um, one of the other things, Frank, that um, I really liked that she talked about uh, drawing traffic, mm. how she got traffic. She goes, great, you have this funnel. How are you going to get eyes on it? She kept saying that, which made sense. And she gave two good recommendations. The first one was uh, buzzumo.com. Mm -hmm. where she said, you know, she was able to go there and, and, and get information. It was really helpful because her and her husband are not techie. And the other one was just, you know, Facebook Analyzer. She goes, just seeing what's trending out there and, and what advertisements are, are, what they look like and kind of just basically referencing them as your ammunition to make your funnel. You know what I mean? And that's, she goes, you didn't have to spend a ton of money. She goes, they had really zero money. Any editing they did was everything from their cell phones. So I thought that was pretty cool. So they're really bootstrapped to their whole process, you know? Yeah. And listen, guys, I think, you know, Russell's a great marketer, right? And if you're really, you know, it's funny because the more I get into this, it's like the more you can kind of start to realize what it is. And I was talking to Frank about this the other day when I was, um, you know, between 7.30 to 10.30 meetings, but literally 15 hours a day, I was, I was busy. But, um, you know, I got, got a couple of minutes with them and I said, you know, really all these are entry points, right, um, that Russell's created to help people become successful, to help indoctrinate them towards the, the benefits of funnels, right? and eventually get them into click funnels right these are all essentially the beginning part of his click funnels funnel right so he can get us to purchase these these courses these education um programs or books or whatever it is and then eventually you move up the funnel to become a click funnels user it's really brilliant it's smart it's the perfect case study to see that this stuff really works he's able to continuously get new customers and traffic and have the leads pay for themselves um you know, but with that being said, these first five days of, um, you know, belief and kind of mindset stuff, it, they're, it's really smart to leave with a really successful person who started from poverty <laughs> to success, right? It's, it's, it's smart because we want to see like, okay, give me some examples that people did it, right? And, um, you know, it helps to kind of just get you ready in the mindset of like, it's going to be hard work, but you can pull it off. You got to put a lot of things in place. Uh, but the funnel could be a great vehicle to make it happen, right? And we talk about those three psychology, right? The vehicle. <laughs> and I feel like, you know, the first couple of videos were about the internal, external, right? Psychology of, mm -hmm. okay, can you do it? Do you have time? And then, but importantly to Russell is that we all understand the vehicle of funnels. And, <laughs> and then it makes sense to use click funnels as that software vehicle to create the funnels, right? So. Um, I still have no problem with it because it's nice to see it actually being implemented and used because he's doing well things at a hundred million dollar company. <laughs> right. And the, and the software is really awesome. So you know, I have no problem with that. And, and the, and the education is good. So um, I just thought it was funny <laughs> going back and looking at it, but Hey guys, that's all we got today. I think, um, I think actually, today, Frank, real quick, do you yeah. want to just show him the uh, worksheet for today? The homework that we did. Yeah, I can pull that up here. Um, if I can find it. Yep. Um, just see. like we've been saying, guys, you know, we're just showing you the digital copy. You know, Frank and I both have the uh, workbook at home and that we're, um, you know, doing it. Um, basically, it, it's pretty much everything we've been doing. You know, it's only very minimal. It's a couple of questions, just a checklist real quick. You, you know. know. Yep. There you go. Just mission five. Lady boss did it. So so you can you. And then uh, just scrolling down, just basically, like I said, our checklist for today was watch Russell's video and the lady boss presentation, fill out the worksheet. Um, and then basically uh, just uh, post that basically hashtag mission complete to our forum. And then scrolling down, 
Um, you know, if we didn't have ClickFunnels, obviously you would sign up. You know, quick question. It goes, number one, what is the one thing, story, idea, Kaylin said during this presentation that really stuck with you? Um, and, I, you know, I'll just answer the one question. That's what I've been doing. Um, honestly, like just that, you know, like I said earlier on, technology was a thing for me as far as like editing and things like that. I'm not really sure. You know, I'm fairly tech savvy. Okay. And I just pretty funny that they did everything from their cell phone. And I, I thought, wow. Someone who made multiple million dollar funnels just used their cell phone. I just thought that was just mind blowing to me. You know, they didn't have all this extra equipment and things. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a great point, right? I think a lot of times we make these obstacles or these challenges that we can't overcome and they really just, they're self-imposed, right? So the, the thing is, you know, if you listen to Steve and you listen to Lady Boss, it's like, you know, when they talk about take action, it's just come up with the idea, do it right um and, and and kind of figure out as you go on the fly don't try to make it perfect which is a great enough lesson in itself um you know so did you have i don't know if you had anything else to add franco but i think tomorrow uh is kind of a catch-up day i believe uh steven says we'll see if they put anything else out um if not we you know we'll, be, we'll obviously be keep doing these videos please subscribe uh hit the like button and bell so you can get the um updates as to when this comes uh it helps the channel out and uh, comment below. We'll answer any questions you guys have. And uh, other than that, keep watching. And I'm um, looking forward to next week because we, we're going to really get into the uh, nuts and bolts of making this stuff happen. Um, I know it's probably what a lot of you guys are, are waiting for, but uh, we wanted to give you the full flavor. So <laughs> thanks again for watching. Yep. Take care, everyone.